Good evening. Could everyone please rise for the presentation of our colors? Good evening and welcome to our 2023 National Honor Society induction. My name is Mike Calderon, Dr. Calderon to the students, and I am very happy to be here with you this evening. Faculty, parents, and students, welcome again to the 2023 National Honor Society ceremony. We are gathered here to formally recognize those students who have been selected by the faculty of our school for successfully completing their candidacy and are being inducted as new members of our National Honor Society chapter. For current members and those former members who may be among our guests, we hope that this will serve to remind you of the way of excellence you too are charged with maintaining as members of this nation's oldest, largest, and most prestigious student recognition program. Our chapter is proud to have been inducting new members since 2009, and with today's ceremony, indicates the continuing emphasis on excellence that we represent for our school and community. Throughout the year, members of our chapter will serve as role models for other students. 
in addition to the strong academic records which establish the eligibility for this membership, our chapter members are leaders in many student organizations and serve our school and community through many activities, including food drives and street cleanups, to name just a few. We are proud of this record of accomplishment and welcome these new members who bring new energy in support of our continuing work as National Honor Society members. At this point, it is my great pleasure to introduce our National Honor Society advisor, Ms. Patel. It is at this time we proclaim to all in attendance that membership in the Oxford chapter of the National Honor Society has been earned by these candidates through the effective demonstration of the four qualities that serve as standards for the society. Members of this chapter will now review these qualities for the candidates. We begin with service. Scholarship promotes a commitment to learning. A student is willing to spend hours in reading and study. Knowing the lives and benefits of a cultivated mind, we should continue to learn even with formal education has ended. For human education ends only with the end of life, knowledge is one great element in life, which leads to the highest success when it can be acquired only one way. Through diligence and effort, learning furnish, furnishes the lamp by which we read the past. The torch guiding us to understand the present in the light that eliminates the future. Candidates have the charge to condition or continually expand the world through the opportunities in and scholarship. My office is service. Service can be established in a routine of the day's work where many opportunities arise to help others both at school and in the community. A willingness to work for the benefit of those in need without monetary compensation or public recognition is the quality we seek in our membership and promote for the entire student body. We are committed to, vol to volunteering our time and talents to the creation of a better tomorrow. As Tabor once said, I slept and dreamt that life was joy. I woke and saw that life was service. I acted and the whole service was joy. Leadership. Leadership should exert a wholesome influence on the school in taking initiative in the classrooms and in school activities. The real leader strives to train and aid others to reach their common goals of success. The price of leadership is sacrifice, the willingness to yield one's personal interest for their interest. Other of others, a school leader has a self-conscious, self-confidence and will go forward with others, hesitate, no other, what power and resource may exist in a school. Community or nation, they are ineffective without the guidance of a wise leader. Leadership is always needed, thus to lead is a many, meaningful and substantive charge to each of our members. As I step back, I ask you to think of a quote from Martin Luther King Jr. A genuine leader is not a searcher for consent, but a molder of consent. 
What does it truly mean to be a leader? And how will you be a leader in the classrooms of, and halls of Frankfurt High School? Character. Character is the force within the individual that distinguishes each person from others. It creates for each of us our individuality, our goodness. It is that without which no one can respect oneself nor hope to attain the respect of others. It is the force of character that guides one through life and once developed grows steadily within. Character is achieved and not received. It is the product of constant thought and action. The daily striving to make the right choice. The problem of character is the problem of self-control. We must be in reality what we wish to appear to others, to be rather than to seem. By demonstrating such quality as respect, responsibility, trustworthiness, fairness, caring, and citizenship, we may hope to prove by example that we value character. At this time, will the new inductees please rise, raise your right hand, and repeat the oath. The audience can follow as the text as printed in the programs. Please join me in reciting the pledge. I pledge to uphold the high purposes of National Honor Society to which I have been selected. I will be true to the principles for which it stands and will maintain and encourage high standards of scholarship, service, leadership, and character. I, uh, I pledge myself always to seek the truth to hold scholarly habits, to engage in worthy service, and to lead forward in all things. As a member of NHS and as a pioneer, that shall advance the welfare of Frankfurt High School. Thank you, you may be seated. And now as I call, as your name is called, please step forward onto the front of the stage to receive your tokens of membership. So starting with the class of 2023, may you please rise. Lanisha Brown. Daniela Enriquez. Ray Ray Jeffers. You may be seated. Now with our class of 2024, if you may rise. Starting with Anna Baez Ferreira.
Alexi Burgos Lopez. Joan Dupre. Rolando Gonzalez. Dreamer Lee John Louis. And Felipe Torres. Class of 2024, you may be seated. Last but certainly not the least, class of 2025. Siani Jones. Rose Mathellas. Rochelle Santana. We can take a moment and give a round of applause to all of our to the new members. Can we give one more round of applause for our newest inductees. I know um, I'm the last thing that stands between everybody and dinner, so I'll, I'll be brief. Um, but I always think it's important um, to know, everybody always thinks, you know, Teachers were always the greatest students in the world, and, you know, so based on that school of thought, I should be the greatest student of all since I'm the principal. But I want you to know, every person on this stage, you've all accomplished something I never had. I, I was never a member of National Honor Society when I was in high school. So I just want to let you know how proud I am of each of you, because I know the amount of work um, that goes in to earning is such a prestigious honor. There really is no higher honor in high school than becoming a member of National Honor Society. That doesn't happen by accident. It happens by hard work, dedication, a supportive family. Um, so I, I really just, again, want to congratulate you, share how proud I am of you, um, and also to thank Ms. Patel for um, restarting our National Honor Society a couple years ago and doing a wonderful job inducting some of the most amazing students that I've ever had the opportunity to meet. So thank you. Um, I believe we are going to process out and then you can join us all in the hospitality suite for dinner. Thank you. No, it's okay. Okay, so I, from my behalf, I would just like to thank our faculty and all the members of the induction ceremony committee, committee for their hard work in organizing and helping with this year's induction. All of you guys have been a tremendous support to me as well. Thank you for all that attended and all of our past NHS members. I think they also deserve a round of applause for speaking and doing a great job. Um, and in just a few moments, the new inductees will recess after which you will all be invited into the Oxford for the reception in their honor. But before you do, um, just give them a moment to exit out and then you guys will follow along into the Oxford. So thank you all for attending and I want to